Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the lavalier mic that I use. It's one of the cheapest microphones that you can actually buy. But before we get into that, roll the titles. Hi guys, great to see you again. As I said, today's video is going to concentrate on the lavalier mic that I use. Now if you don't know what a lavalier mic is, it is one of these. So it's got like a little clippy thing you can put onto it, and you attach that to your lapel or whatever, and you're going to speak into it and it'll pick up your voice really clearly. It's got a lead, so this is about a 1.5 meter lead. So it's a bit of a short lead, so you can plug in extra extensions, so another 1.5 meters if you want, or more, depending how long you, far away you are from the camera. Uh, I love it. It cost about £6, which is ridiculous. I don't know, that's about $10 in the US. So I'm going to show you now what the, what the sound sounds like with it on. So at the moment I'm using my Rode microphone, which uh, is a shotgun mic. Um, I will be reviewing that soon as well, but I will just show you what this sounds like. Okay guys, so this now is the sound without any microphone on. This is the in-camera sound that you're hearing. Um, it probably sounds a bit tinny, I can't hear it, but I'm presuming it sounds a little bit tinny, a little bit echoey. Um, it's probably picking up my voice fine, but it probably just isn't as high quality as it could be. So... And now this is the sound with the lavalier mic. Um, as you can see, I've got it here on my lapel, that's where it stays. Um, it means that it's not in the way, it's very inconspicuous. It does still have, of course, the cable on it, and at the moment I'm about 1.5 metres away from the uh, camera, so like, this is about as far as I can go, actually. And as you can see, I'm probably leaning forward slightly, just so that it's not too tense, not in the shot. So there's moments like that where you would probably actually need an extension to make it go further. But as you can tell, though, the sound quality is really, really good. And for £6, or about 10 US dollars, it's really astounding. I wouldn't use this mic really to do vlogging or go traveling or something like that. It's not really built for that. It's more built for this sort of situation where you're sitting down, talking to a camera, uh, you're not doing much moving around, you know, your arms aren't flailing everywhere because they are, you get all the lead over there and, <laughs> and the camera goes flying towards you and it all goes wrong. But as a sit down situation microphone, it's really, really good. And if you want to conduct an interview with this as well, you can get a splitter, which you just put on the end, and then you can get another lavalier mic and you can have one each, one for you and one for the interviewee. So it's really, really good for that situation. As I said, I got it from Amazon. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, and if you're looking to get your first mic, it is a really, really good first mic. Probably actually the cheapest you could get that has this sort of quality. When I started making these YouTube videos, I didn't want to start out by having the in-camera sound because it's quite tinny, not very good. Um, I wanted something much, much, much better. Uh, and I didn't have a lot of money. So I did my research and this was what I came up with. And I'm really glad I put that investment in. The only reason I don't use it as my day-to-day -day microphone at the moment, um, and I have the shotgun mic instead, is because we have two cats. And when you're using uh, the lavalier mic, because it's got the cable on here, they like to play with the cable, um, which can cause uh, a bit of issues, and it does sometimes rock the camera and pulls me all out over the place, and my videos take about twice as long to film because I spend half the time getting the cats off me. Um, but that's the only reason why I use the shotgun mic, really. Um, the shotgun mic is definitely about a travel microphone, uh, but this is an absolute astounding microphone and I highly recommend it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because uh, that then shows me that you've enjoyed this video and that I should keep on putting out content like this. Also, if you're into things like travel, photography and filmmaking, then consider subscribing to my channel because I put out content related to those subjects every single week. I also have a website at www.travelswiththomasaurus.com which is a great place to go. It sort of builds on what I talk about on this channel. Uh, it perhaps goes into a bit more detail here and there, but also it's a great place, so if you're in work, you can't watch YouTube videos, it's also a nice place to sort of catch up on what's going on with me and my sort of topics I'm covering. Uh, so I might not be around for the next two weeks, guys, because I'm off on a holiday, uh, but I will be vlogging and I will bring you back some amazing videos. I might live do a bit of live streaming while I'm uh, on holiday, but probably not a lot. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.